Welcome back to Control C. Uh, I'm excited to make this video today because I'm going to be adding Node.js and Node.red to the Wago PFC firmware. If you're not familiar with Node.red, Node.red is an incredible way to wire together the Internet of Things and to do uh, things that just aren't so easy in a PLC runtime like parse JSON files, things like that. So um, we're going to be using the board support package, which we demonstrated in the video before. Uh, there's a new release of this, and all the links will be in the description of the video. Um, grab your hardware and follow along. Let's get started. A little bit of housekeeping with this. I need to now um, expand the size of the firmware, so you'll see we're a little memory limited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reformat an SD card with an XFAT partition. And once I've reformatted this, uh, there's nothing on the card. I'm just going to eject it, insert it into my PFC uh, while it's powered. I can then navigate to web-based management. And if I go to administration and create image, this will give me the option to expand the firmware to the entire SD card size, which is 8 gigabytes. And once that's complete, I will um, reboot the PFC. And once this has come back, I can then um, check the size again, and you'll see I've only used about 1% of the overall size. Next, I need to download Node.js. And we'll do this inside the BSP, but I'm going to grab the link on my um, main machine. I'm going to install Node.js uh, version 4.8.7. Copy the link there, and now I'll go into my board support, my, my board support package uh, enabled Ubuntu virtual machine. I'm going to navigate to the uh, source folder in the PTX dist, and I'm going to execute a wget uh, with the link I copied. I also need the MD5 sum, so I'll get that here as well. Now I need to create two files. Um, I've done this before, and I'm not going to go into depth into what these files contain, but there's a make file and an uh, .in file. The .in file describes the package to uh, the PTX dist menu config, and the make file uh, directs the system on how to how to build this and where to distribute its contents when we essentially compile this into an IPK. Uh, both of these files are available in a link in the comments. Um, we're going to copy this. We're going to paste it into the make file that we created. We'll save this here, and we're also going to create the .in. We're going to copy the contents out of my uh, pre-written file. We're going to paste that as well and save. Now once that's done, uh, we can go into the PTX dist and add the package. Now if I go to PTX dist menu config, uh, I'll scroll down to scripting languages, hit enter, and then I want to make sure that I have selected Node.js and that both NPM package manager and SSL are supported. I can exit from here, save, and now I want to do a PTX dist clean Node.js, which will erase any existing files, and do PTX dist target install Node.js. This may take quite a while to build. Once it's completed, it's going to build the IPK file, and we just need to copy this into our PFC. So we're going to execute a secure copy um, for the um, file in uh, the packages directory into the PFC. Um, into the root directory. Once that's copied, now we can go over to our PFC uh, shell and install the package. So we'll clear this and we're going to do an ipackage install uh, the node.js. We can check this install now with uh, node.js-v and then we're going to install node.red. Uh, the command for that is npm install unsafe perm node-red. This will take several minutes to complete, uh, but once it's done, we'll also want to make this so that auto runs. Now I'll navigate to etc init.d directory, and we're going to create a file called node-red. And in this, I'm going to copy the contents of a script I've already written, uh, which is also available for download in the comments. Uh, we'll save this, and we also have to make it executable, so I'll chmod u plus x node-red. And lastly, I need to link it to the rc.d directory, which is uh, going on with the command here. Once that's done, we'll reboot, and we should be able to uh, pull this up at the PFC's IP address, port 1880. You can see we have Node-RED now running. Um, 
we'll do a simple, I'll do a simple hello world node using an inject node and a debug. We'll pull those in, change this to a string, make it hello world, and put a debug node in. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.